Hi guys, I'm gonna show you how to do a lower thirds overlay using HDMI into an A10 Mini Pro. This will also work for the extremes. As you can see, I've got key or key fill, and it's working as a successful overlay. So here's the way it works. This is coming from Pro Presenter. I've just got some amazing Grace lyrics looping here, so you can see. Now I've got a regular background. That can be going out to your main screens or whatever you want it for. We make a new screen and we use a siphon output in whatever resolution you want. Then we're going to make sure that it does exactly what we want it to. So for the siphon output, we only want the lyrics going to it, or the, sorry, the uh, words going to it. Now you can change it to whatever you want. If you want to do this for actual lower thirds instead of just a lyrics overlay, great. That'll work the same. So we have the regular output, which is this screen right here. We have your siphon output. Then you need two other pieces of software to make this work. You can get them both for free. The first one is ISF Editor. It's from uh, Vidvox. It's the guys that make VDMX. And, this, and it lets you do low level editing of um, of uh, video, of live video feeds over Siphon. Second one is from Kahiro Takahashi, and it's called Simon, and it just lets you full screen the Siphon output afterwards. So you download these two softwares. Now you've got your Siphon feed. We're gonna open up ISF Editor. First, we bring our ProPresenter feed into ISF Editor, just like that. And we're going to use the one of the defaults that they have, which is show alpha. This takes the uh, alpha feed. Where is it? Show alpha. There you are. Show alpha. It takes your alpha feed, which has the colored text, and turns it into grayscale, black and white. Because we're basically taking the... What the siphon feed is doing is it has four output layers. It's got RGB and alpha layer. However, HDMI only passes three of those. So we take that fourth layer, alpha, and we convert it into grayscale, when then we use that as key and fill. So we suddenly have one of the outputs. Now I've got two other screens plugged into this computer here. One, two, and they're running into the mixer here. This is a, that's a camera, and then two other feeds, ignore the labels. And the way we actually take it is using that second software called Simon. So I'll show you here, because these here are two screens connected to it. If we go over to, let's go to the first one. There we go. You'll see, in fact, let's throw that up here so you can see it a little bit bigger. Take that off the screen, take that off the air. There we go. All right, now what we actually have here is this cute little software, which is just used for showing, uh, show for full screening, a siphon feed. So we use it, we actually run two instances, instances of it, one in each of these things, and that's it. We full screen them. We full screen the other one. And then in the software, ATEM software control, <clears throat> we have our camera. And then we set the on-air transition to be based off of key and fill. I have them labeled as key and fill here. Oh, look, fill and key. And voila, that's how we do it. The two screens, so that one is your regular siphon output. That one is your grayscaled alpha. And there we go. I'm using this just with an ATEM Mini Pro. It should work great for, a, uh, for an extreme. Now, one thing though, because HDMI sucks, it does not send them at the same frame rate, or it, it, they're not in sync. That's what the deck link is special about. It sends things, make sure that key and fill are exactly synced. Because HDMI is HDMI, it uh, sends it when it gets it. So to get this to work, I've actually scaled it back so it's running at 30 frames per second instead of 60. At 60, it wasn't perfectly in sync, it was, it was a frame off. I dropped it down to 30 because this puppy has the scaling built in, it can handle it just fine. So 
there's that. That you just set, get into system settings to change. But there you have it. Key and fill with an ATEM Mini Pro or an Extreme.